It is illegal for non-U.S. citizens to vote in federal elections, but that hasn't stopped at least hundreds from doing so in recent years, according to various state and federal investigations. On this vote, the yeas are 221, the nays are 198. The bill is passed. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. House Republicans on Wednesday voted for a measure that would require proof of U.S. citizenship whenever someone registers to vote, a measure that's been strongly opposed by congressional Democrats as well as the White House. A majority of 216 Republicans approved the measure, as well as five Democrats who sit in critical swing districts. The bill was championed by House Speaker Mike Johnson as well as Representative Chip Roy, who introduced the measure. It's about the rule of law, ensuring the integrity of elections, and the simple proposition that only citizens should vote. If the people cannot rely upon their election system, the integrity of that system, then we have nothing. Both of them have argued that the millions of migrants who have flooded into the U.S. since President Biden took office and the ease with which many people are able to obtain voter registration forms at welfare offices, Department of Motor Vehicles offices, and even in some cases requesting mail-in ballots has made it necessary to safeguard the electoral process by passing the legislation. House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries nevertheless whipped his caucus against the vote, declaring inaccurately that there was, quote, no evidence that has been presented to suggest that undocumented individuals have been participating in federal elections. The White House also issued a veto threat ahead of the vote. But given the Republican control of the lower chamber, neither was enough to sway the vote. Representative Chip Roy also pointed out in a press conference that the Post attended on Tuesday that Democrats in various states and localities have been pushing non-citizen voting rights, including in Oakland, San Francisco, New York, and Washington, D.C. This is part of an effort he claims to enfranchise more voters, including non-U.S. citizens. Johnson's office also released a white paper in advocating for the legislation last month, The paper points to at least one academic study that found non-citizen voter participation was large enough in the past to make meaningful changes to election outcomes. In a speech on the House floor before the vote, Johnson said, we have so many non-citizens in the country right now that if only one out of 100 of those illegal aliens voted, you're talking about hundreds of thousands of votes being cast. 